Welcome to the homework for lesson 13. This is of grade 3, module 2. Get your name on here first. And then uh, we're rounding to the nearest 10. And uh, using a number line to model our thinking. So these number lines are kind of like graphic organizers for rounding to the nearest 10. They just help us see what we're looking at. So here, here's an example for the first one. 43 is in between 40 and 50. And what you do is you find what's exactly in the middle would be 45. And then where's the 43? If it's on this, if it's below the 45, then you're closer to the lower number. If it's on the 45, on the middle mark or higher, then it's going to be, it's going to round to the higher number. So that this is, that's not too bad. Uh, the, the hard part sometimes is just reading the directions. We're going to the nearest 10. And sometimes these things get tricky, especially when you get into three digits. But you'll see how it goes. So this is this 43 right here is definitely closer to the 40. So this little eh, eh means sort of equal to or about. It's kind of like a, a wavy equal sign. Uh, so we have that's going to be closer to the that's going to be about 40. And now we have to number these model. Uh, we have to label these number lines here. So 48, that's going to have 40. It's going to be 48 is going to be between 40 and 50. And right in the middle is 45. And somewhere in here, 48 is going to be more. So it's closer to 50. <clears throat> And now we have 73. So 73 is going to be in between 70. and It's higher than 70, but it's less than 80. Right in the middle between the two is 75. And 73 is going to be just below the 75 right here, 73. So it's closer to the 70. It's about 70. Now 173, this is the nearest 10. So it's in between 170. You may notice this was 73 and this is 173. So this is going to look a lot like the other number line, except that now we're going to have, instead of 70, we have 170. Instead of 80, we have 180. And likewise, this will be 175. And then this will be 173. So it's closer to the 170. And here we have 189. So 189 is in between 180 and 190. And in between is 185. And 189 is going to be just under the 190. So it's closer to 190 is the nearest 10. 194. This one's a little trickier because 190, if you want to figure out the bottom end, just sort of replace this, this ones digit here with a zero. And that'll tell you the bottom. And if you're rounding by tens, that is, then this that will kind of work as a trick. 190. What's 10 more than 190? The next 10 up is, is actually... It's a hundred, but it's also a ten, so it's two hundred. In between is a hundred ninety. Is five more than a hundred ninety? Hundred ninety five. And the hundred ninety four. I think that's what it was. I'm gonna erase this so I can see it. The hundred ninety four is gonna be just under a hundred ninety five. That's hundred ninety four. So it's closer to a hundred ninety. And now we're rounding the weight of each item to the nearest 10, nearest 10 grams. And we're going to draw our own number lines now. So it's a lot like the, one, the ones on the first page, except now we have to draw our own lines and label them. So here's a cereal bar, 45 grams. So we need our number line with the arrows that go up and down, our lower and our upper and our middle. Low would be 
45 is in between 40 and 50 and these are grams and right in between the two is 45 grams and then boom there we are uh, so the nearest 10 when it's right in the middle like this you take the higher number so 50 grams and here we have a loaf of bread this is 673 now we're rounding to the nearest 10 so really don't let the hundreds bother you that much if you can help it we're really looking at that 73 because we're going to be have it's going to be in between 70 and 80 but we're going to have 670 and 680 so we'll just draw the line i'll show you what it looks like At the bottom we have 670 and at the top 680 and right in the middle would be 675 right and these are all grams and this 673 is comes before 675 now if large numbers stress you out and they do stress out a lot of third graders if they do then try and think of this as sometimes this helps and sometimes it, it just doesn't you can think of this as 70 73 75 and 80 and then just get you know just don't deal with that hundreds digit unless you have to and then write it in after you figure it out but it's going to be closest to this one here 670 grams the garden club plants rows of carrots in the garden one seed packet weighs 28 grams round the total weight of two seed packets to the nearest 10 grams model your thinking using a number line so first we have to figure out let's see they're planting rows of carrots we don't have to know how many carrots they're planting or how many rows but the seed packet is 28 grams so carrot seeds we need to know what two seed packets are and then round that to the nearest 10. so two seed packets we've got here one is 28 grams and here's the other 28 grams and these two together to the nearest 10. so we got to figure out 28 plus 28 8 and 8 is 16 right and we got to bundle some ones into a 10 but we have to add the 10 to the rest of the other 10 so that's 2 4 5 and these are grams so 56 grams where is 56 grams on our number line here we go 56 is going to be in between 50 and 60 and these are grams and right in between right in the middle is 55 grams 56 is just after 55 and so now we have our we read it I read it I think two almost three times uh, we've drawn two pictures here <clears throat> now we're gonna write our answer here on the total weight so the total weight is about 60. it's about 60 grams